A couple of years ago, the weather news was dominated by El Nino. El Nino. El Nino. El Nino. El Nino. El Nino. Nino. A naturally occurring climate pattern with warmer than usual waters in parts of the Pacific Ocean, and one that can have far-ranging effects on weather around the globe. We haven't heard much about El Nino's events recently because they happen on irregular cycles that last about two to seven years. But now El Nino is starting to come back. The Federal Climate Prediction Center officially declared El Nino conditions in February 2019, the first time since the last flurry of activity in 2015 and 2016. So, what does El Nino mean for our weather forecast? Typically, El Nino events increase rainfall patterns across the United States. But in the rest of the world, El Nino brings drier climates, which could lead to drought or to wildfires in places like Indonesia and Australia, experts told NBC Mock. The climate pattern also affects hurricanes. It tends to reduce the number of severe storms in the Atlantic, while increasing hurricanes and typhoons in the Pacific. Some experts also think El Nino events have an impact on tornadoes, but here the potential link is more nuanced and less understood. That's partly because several factors play a role in the tornadoes that tend to rip through certain areas at a high rate. For example, a 2016 study found that even a weak El Nino effect could increase the risk of spring tornadoes in the Upper Midwest. But another study found El Nino conditions tend to decrease the risk of springtime tornadoes in the South Central U.S. area known as Tornado Alley. Whether or not El Nino is to blame, this spring has been full of severe tornadoes in places like Western Ohio, Texas, Missouri, and Nebraska. Over a 12-day stretch in May, a total of 225 confirmed tornadoes struck across the country. Also unclear is how El Nino conditions might be affected by climate change. A December 2018 study published in the journal Nature suggested El Ninos may become stronger and more common as greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere, warming the planet's oceans. More research is needed in this area, and it's a question whose answer is key to understanding how climate change will affect future weather. Hey, NBC News viewers! Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.